Hello, and thanks for tuning in to this episode of Selling My Fifth Wheel. This is my 2016 Vengeance Forest River. No, it's Forest River Vengeance 377V. It's a toy, haul, toy hauler fifth wheel, obviously, due to that. It has an onboard generator, which has like 15 or 16 hours on it. Three slide outs. It's the big boy. It's got three axles. It's got a 12 foot garage. It's cold out here. So I'm going to make this walk around quick. Um, I do store it under this carport here. Snow is melting off the uh, roof, but the camper is nice and dry. Okay, starting here, we have propane tank, one on each side. One on each side. We have a solar connection there if you wanted to go green. We have the, uh, I don't know what you call it, pass-through, pass-through storage. That's what I wanted to say. I've got this um, wall separation down just so we can take a look at all the uh, components back here. I usually winterize it. I got a pump. The uh, water pump is connected over there. So I just take this down to uh, winterize it, connect the hose to that, and then just go through and inspect everything back here. We have the water heater, the inverter, uh, furnace and water pump over there um, it this goes really quick back up there and you just zip that screw back in but uh, that's the pass through we have an outdoor speaker here we have the water heater the outside of the water heater uh, awning works well it does have a white led underneath it um, this is an upgraded sound system has a Sony speaker I can show you guys on the inside. Uh, speaker, basically a Bose system, sits out here and enhances the sound quality uh, by quite a bit because those speakers never really sound that good. Um, this is the kitchen slide out. This is the uh, venting for the refrigerator. It's venting for the stove. Um, this is a TV mount if you want to bring your TV outside. This is where you connect it. I don't know why they decided to mount the TV here and then the connections are over here. You could plug it in here. Um, it's for cable though. I don't know who uses cable anymore. Other speaker, other door to the garage. Um, this is the legs. They just come down like so, slowly but surely. Here's the other speaker for uh, speaker mount for that Bose system I was talking about. Sony Bose. Um, lock your stuff up using that cable. It does have the uh, party deck on back. You guys want me to open it? Okay. I, I know what you're thinking. I, you're like, I know it's cold, but just open it, John. Open the door. I can do it one handed because I'm holding the phone. This is going to take skill. Here we go. Obviously those fold up and then you have an instant party deck. You can jam out to the music there. You can see that's the other side of the sound system. The electrical parts is so, oh, let me just walk up in here. A little bit out of the wind, feels better. This is that sound system. All right, my phone died, so I think I was talking about the sound system. There it is. We have two switches uh, on this side, two switches over here. Those control um, whether you want the speakers to be inside or out. Those would be the uh, the Bose sound system speakers. It's a 500 watt Sony amplifier. This can be Bluetooth connected, uh, CD if you're old enough to remember those. Just kidding. Um, yeah, so that's that uh, washer uh, hookup here if you want to do extended stay camping. This is uh, the TV mount I showed you outside. This is the mount your TV. You can take this in or out. Uh, cable hookup once again, plug 110. Uh, USB plugs. We have another plug down here. Um, let's see. It says something about install. Before installing the dryer, duct, and venting, contact your service center. Okay, yeah, follow the instructions. Um, this is a table that goes between... The two, when this is in couch mode, these two couches on either side, uh, this table can go in between there if you wanted to. And then um, these 
these can be two uh, large beds. I don't know what they'd be like, queens maybe? Um, our kids lay across them this way. Or you can have this have be, it'd be like a double, or you can keep, there's a lot of different configurations. Either two couches, the on the side uh, like this, or all the way up, um, or in bed mode. And then this one can be up or down if you need it. Um, it's great, if not. Um, we use this ladder that is um, the same ladder that you use to get on the loft. You We use that for the bed there. Um, this is a switch panel in the garage. We have two outside lights on either side. Obviously, you can't see those, but we have some overhead lights here. And then additional lighting over here. Those are these LED bulbs. I don't really like these because uh, one of them... Oh, bad connection. These bulbs aren't like the best uh, quality. Um, that being said, all the windows have blackout curtains. Um, that's the party deck. This is the control for the bed. Did I mention that already? I may have, I may not have. This is the bathroom. Tiny bathroom, um, but big enough. It has a vent and a fan. Uh, barely enough room. Hello, thanks for watching. This is your, it has its own tank back here. This is the uh, black water tank. A um, little faucet, another mirror. Hi. All right, let's get out of the garage area. Um, it is nice. They have doors with uh, weather stripping here. Keeps the sound down. Kids can be back there. Uh, we can be in here. Let's go turn some lights on first. Normally, we, you would have walked in this uh, entry door here. All right, we have the switch panel. Some of these are outside lights. So that's an inside light there. Let's see. Island lighting. Blue lighting. And another outside light. Okay, back over here. This is a heated holding tank switch. This holds, this uh, heats the, if you wanted to get really crazy and go camping in sub zero weather, um, that's how, what you would do. You turn that on. This is the water heater, electric. This is the pump. Um, this shows you how much everything is battery power. Fresh water tank, I'm empty. Black water tank, I'm one third full. That's not true, it's lying. Gray water tank, empty. Everything should be empty. Uh, slide out one. Uh, both uh, slide outs in the living room area are controlled by one switch and they are hydraulically uh, actuated. Awning connection or a switch there. Um, that same blue light that you see above, it also. Oh, the switch is kind of funky if you uh, wiggle it. That's why we've seen that blinking. The TV does swing out if you wanted to, because if you notice the way the chairs are sitting, it doesn't uh, really provide the best viewing, but this TV does pull out of the wall, but there's a, something I need two hands for. There is a switch under here, which turns on the island lighting. Let's go over here. We have more switches. This, oh, there's the overhead lighting over here for that uh, large slide out. There's also another switch here that controls these blue lights that are uh, rather dim. Uh, well, let's see if it's not even on. Okay, there we go. And when it's dark, you can see them. It's good mood light or uh, you know, night light. And close some of these shades down. That is an electric heater. The controls for that are right here. Hit the switch on. You can control how bright you want the fire. You can stoke it up. Um, the temperature is down here. You just can set this. low heat high heat or you can run it on the thermometer which is nice because if you're in the campground you're paying for electricity anyway so um 
the only issue is it only heats this area obviously if your garage is closed or even just even if you leave the door open we found that the garage gets cold so we usually just plug in a little space heater back here because this vent when you're even when you're running the furnace it barely puts any uh, hot air out so um we just compensate with a little electric heater these chairs may look different because they're not the standard chairs the uh, material that was on the side of it it's like uh, fake leather just flaked off um so we just uh, put these in which are really comfortable or you could take them out they are i mean it's a nice large area you could put a futon you could do a lot of stuff make it even a little desk uh, okay let's see um moving over here to the store these are all the manuals a bunch of reading materials on you know how to use the toilet all the important stuff bluetooth audio system okay everything is on there you can learn about all the exciting things uh, we have a switch here that turns on these lights this is a, a decent kitchen to cook in um you can also have another uh, this is a, a night light sometimes i use a fan uh directly uh blows outside there which is there's another uh, panel on the outside which is right there and that will vent out so if you do have to cook in the uh, camper uh, it's not too bad this is uh, a uh, stove cover that you can use obviously for countertop space or it uh, doubles as a uh, backsplash i don't have propane connected so i can't turn that on right now or uh, I would do that. This is the refrigerator, freezer, surprise. And then we have the fridge. Um, never had any problems with those. Lots of storage up here. A couple of things still in there. Crock pot. This is all one cavity. Um, another big cavity down here. More crock pots. Yes. You can never have too many crock pots. Um, you know under cabinet storage there pantry more stuff you're not supposed to see like coffee filters and sugar um painted rocks for my kids this is a loft that goes the whole width of the camper let's see we have a switch over here you got yourself a little light you got yourself a duct um this mattress actually kind of, I think it's supposed to kind of go like this. So you could have some a spot for your bag, uh, your plug-in for your electrical devices, another cable connection uh, in case you wanted to have a TV and watch some cable, tune into some cable. Um, my kids were always scared to stay up here, though. I don't know why. This would be the place I would be. And the cool thing is while you're up here, you can still watch the movie because we would have kids up here watching the movie because because this seating gets taken up the floor gets taken up so they will go migrate up there refrigerator uh smoke alarm with the battery removed let's go into the bathroom nice size bathroom lots of floor space to uh, get dressed personal stuff in there large corner shower with a skylight um better shower head too I think that's a uh, oxygen, I forget, uh, oxygenic. No, I'm curious. Um, we do have a fan. This vent is a lot easier to reach than the other one. Going into the master bedroom. Uh, we have a, it's not, it's a, they call this a camper king. So not quite a king. Uh, lots of storage below. Turn some lights on in here. Right here, right here, here, and here. Okay, so, uh, yep, lots of storage down there. We do have reading lights over here. And this another blue light, night light. Lots of headroom here. Um, I'm six foot and 
if I stand on my tippy toes over here, I can touch. Uh, here, I'm basically touching. So, um, yeah, you can't really get around. I guess you, I mean, you could get around here if you wanted to maybe get your clothes out of here. Uh, there's a little TV here. It's using that same wall mount system. Um, this is a slide out. This is a uh, this wardrobe is a slide out, so it pushes out. It pushed out. Uh, second air conditioner. Um, it's nice sometimes when we're connected to um, like 20 amp only uh, at the campground or even 30 amp. Um, to be able to have the generator we can uh, start that and run both acs if it's really hot these curtains on all these windows for privacy privacy a couple things in here but we've never run out of storage these are pretty deep cabinets i mean you can see these are full-size clothes dryer or uh, clothes hangers with still inches to spare Okay, going down the hallway here, we have the uh, breaker panel and thermostat. And I think that uh, covers it. I think that covers it. We do have a charging station over here. I forgot to mention underneath the switch panel on this large slide out. This does not turn into a bed. Oh, but this, I can show you guys this storage here couple items still in there the bed or the the table does come off but it doesn't turn into a bed but uh it does you can't take it out if you wanted to do that for some reason this faucet is um it came like this it never leaked i've heard people saying that these leak this must have been a good one it never has leaked never gave us any problems the camper um, has been great to us. And it's a really well designed layout. Thanks for watching. Hit me up with any uh, questions, messages, or concerns. I will uh, answer you back. Thanks for watching.